y'all welcome to another video today we are doing part three of my moldavite energy experiments videos um at the end of last year i did a couple of these where i pick up moldavite and a certain stone and i talk about the kind of energy that i feel that kind of energy that kind of like goes through my body when experiencing these combinations and on those videos I asked for some suggestions or recommendations on other stones I should try with Moldavite so I have a list of some of those that I'm gonna try I picked up a few other ones that I was kind of curious about some of them were just like screaming at me one of them my friend had a dream about last night and I just feel like it belongs in this video today now too so we're gonna try out some Moldavite energy combinations. So on the first video that I did, I will link it up here and down here. We experimented with Moldavite and Rose Quartz, Amethyst, Lemurian Crystals, Blue Kyanite, Smoky Quartz, Libyan Desert Glass, Herkimer Diamonds, and Oralite 23. And then in the second video, which I will link, here and here. We experimented with obsidian, neumite, labradorite, danborite, rhodochrosite, phenakite, fulgurite, petalite, emerald, and black ionite. So if you want to check any of those out, please do. But today we are going to experiment with some new ones. Um, so I took all of your suggestions and every crystal that I had in those suggestions we're gonna cover today um, one thing that was suggested that I really 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 want to try but I can't believe I don't have a piece and I didn't even realize I don't have a piece but in my head I can see the piece that I know I'm going to buy now that I realize I don't have a piece of kunzite I don't have any kunzite I don't think I don't have any kunzite so I can't do that combination, but we are going to start with Sujolite. I did a whole video on Sujolite, you guys. It was actually a crystal that was recommended to me in a different video, and I got it. Um, I So I got it in my UK crystal haul, and that was such a fun video it was all crystals that i bought from a certain shop that was recommended to me in the uk and then i ended up working with the sujolite for a little bit and then i did a whole video on sujolite so you can find that on my channel also this is the piece of moldavite i'm going to be using today um she is just a very soothing healing piece of moldavite um she doesn't, the power of her, I don't think, will try to overpower the other crystals. I think they'll just pair well together. Um, so I'm so excited but nervous. I haven't done something like this in a while, and we're just going to see how it goes, I guess. Here is my piece of Sujolite. Just a little piece, and we're going to see what happens here. So I feel a lot of like brain activity going on, um, like almost like these flash bulbs. Um, I almost feel like it's trying to activate other parts of my brain. And I want to go ahead and say it's a creative energy that's kind of like popping off and I'm gonna sit with it for another minute. I'm definitely feeling some movement in my heart chakra, but all the while this like weird like light and popping up in my, in my head. It's weird because um, I'm being pulled in two totally different directions. Like I'm being pulled over here and there's like like so much energy going on and I wanna like dive into this river of creativity and like get a million things done. And there's so much energy over here. But then when I like checked in with my physical body, my heart isn't beating any faster. I'm actually physically feeling a little bit like calm and tired so it's like tons of mental activity tons of mental energy but my body itself is like at peace a lot of times certain stones with moldavite give you all of this kind of energy like it is a lot of like fast paced a lot just like power um 
And you can feel that in your body, both with like the Moldavite flush thing that happens, but also I, um, my heart rate will accelerate a little bit sometimes and I'm not getting any physical anything with this, which is, it's almost strange. It's so, I'm not getting anything physical so much that I feel like I'm not even holding crystals that are doing anything, but in my mind, it's just going a little bit crazy. It's interesting. I feel like this combination would be really great if you're sitting down to make a list of things to do. If you're first starting on some kind of a creative task and you're trying to outline everything and come up with all these great ideas, I feel like sitting down with this combination and just writing down everything that pops in your head, even if you don't have the energy or the time to like do it all right now on the physical side, you're just kind of chilling. but. I feel like you can definitely harness this energy in a way that can totally like propel you forward on some sort of a project. I'm totally just calm right now, almost like tired calm physically. It's so weird how, it's so weird, but I like it. Um, so I don't know if this is a combination that I would be pulled to wear together during the day um, simply because I feel like it would almost take the wind out of my sails as far as like actually doing things. But for sitting and daydreaming and planning and things like that, that is what I would use this combination for, the Sujolite and Moldavite. So the next thing that someone asked me to review with the Moldavite is Apophyllite. Now, I do have a small piece of Apophyllite here that I was going to use, and it's just this little, little piece. However, I told you that one of my friends had a dream last night, and it, it had to do with zeolites. And she's telling me about her dream this morning, and it's just funny because we're talking about the dream, but I didn't actually like click with what she was talking about for a second, and then I'm like, zeolites like yeah i'm obsessed with zeolites in fact last time we were like crystal shopping together we both got some like they're the they're those beautiful things that we bought and she's like oh my gosh you're right so i just feel like okay also <laughs> zeolites is um it's like a family of crystals but it includes all these different ones one of my favorite zeolites that i have is mainly apophyllite so I figured I want to do zeolites in this energy experiment and someone wanted me to try apophyllite so I'm going to try the moldavite with the mainly apophyllite zeolite. There's also some still bite in here but it is mainly apophyllite so um god this thing is so pretty. All right, we're gonna try the zeolite and the moldavite together. I am excited. I think it's gonna be, whew. This one I feel in my physical body right away before I even like close my eyes and try to tap in. It's very apparent that they like each other and they're just uh, giving me a lot of energy. It's very like happy and bouncy and almost like childlike wonderment. I do feel like my heart beat is accelerating a little bit, but I also feel like my heart chakra is expanding. It's um, a very like lovely, loving, and then that's like it. I don't know if I'm blocking something off, but it's like it was immediately a lot of energy. My heart chakra expanded, loving, loving, and then it just kind of stayed right there. It accelerated to a certain point and now it's just sitting there. I mean, it's good energy. It's like, it's almost like it's like holding space for something. You know, it's been so long since I've done one of these videos that I feel weird right now. Like, I feel like I've just spent too much time lately trying to be um, normal. <laughs> I 
I've just been around a lot of normal people lately. I haven't been around a lot of spiritual, crystal, energy people lately. And so I find myself right now in this video trying to censor myself and not sound so weird, which is awful that I'm going through life like that. But also, I just need to remember that it's so important to be completely yourself so that other people know that it's safe to completely be themselves. And so let's just get weird. So I feel like it expanded this space and it was holding this space. And now I feel like it's this like meeting space where you can communicate easier with um, spirits, spirit guides, ancestors, ghosts, whatever, whatever it is that you want to call that. I just feel like it opened up this like communication space. Um, but I don't feel like anyone's in there. I feel like I'm in this empty room where I can tell, I can tell that I would be able to hear them better in this room, but no one's there. But I feel like in a meditation situation, you could meet and hear some really cool things holding this combination. It's um, maybe one of the most magical feelings that I've had while holding two stones together because it took me somewhere completely different and it's and it feels so nice to be there because when your heart chakra is like completely expanded and open like that that's such a lovely feeling in itself and then being in this kind of like quiet white silent just silent room I have to move on now because this is so nice. I feel like I could sit here all day with this combination of the Zeolite and Moldavite. It's, um, man, definitely try this. Actually, I'm going to try it with just the Apophyllite now just to see if it changes in any way, like a slight adjustment. Pick up the, just the little piece of Apophyllite I have. Ugh. It's like, um, it's trying to pop the balloon I was just in. This energy feels sharper. I feel like, I don't know, I still don't know if it's going to be the same as the zeolite, but it's a lot sharper of an energy. I feel like the still bite in the zeolite definitely softened everything a little bit. So I feel like if the zeolite took me directly in a room, this is taking me to a hallway. So this is like a way that you can get somewhere, but it got me there quicker and much more completely to hold the zeolite. So if you do just have a Apophyllite, maybe try put a, a piece of still bite with it. I don't know if that would be the same thing, um, but I definitely enjoyed more the Zeolite that had the Apophyllite and the still bite. It was just a much more expanded energy. This still feels like it would be a good communication type of uh, aid almost, like a communication aid, but it's not as clear. It's also giving me a little bit of a headache right over here. I don't feel like it's bad. I feel like, um, like I said, I feel like this is the hallway. Like this could eventually get you to the place where the other one was, but the other one was just so much more comfortable and quicker and yeah, but the same underlyingness is still there. The next stone that someone wanted me to try is the Sintamani stone, or some people call it Saphrodite. Some people call it the Shambhalaya stone. This is one of the stones that I was in some kind of a Moldavite group and someone asked a question about this stone because it's kind of like a tectite feel and shape and weirdness. Um, and then they gave a link about where they got theirs and I immediately clicked on the link and bought some of my own because I was so fascinated by it. Um, it's also cool because there's an episode of Ancient Aliens that talks about Moldavite, Libyan Desert Glass, and they also talk about this Sintamani stone. So it, it does feel a lot like Moldavite in an energy way. It's kind of like this see-through, how Moldavite, okay. Moldavite looks much darker when you just hold it up, right? And then when you put light behind it, it turns that amazing green color. Well, 
This Centenary Stone is a little bit of a darker color also. And when you uplight this, it's this like gray, purple, see-through color. And it's very like rough around the edges like Moldavite and um, it has the same sort of overall vibe. I have had very, very experienced magical crystal people tell me that to them, this feels the same as Moldavite. I feel like they're very similar in their um, like molecular structure probably. But there's something about this stone that's very different. While Moldavite is very light and bright, to me at least, this stone is just a little bit darker. I remember when I first got it thinking that it felt like a cold, empty room and it almost felt like death, <laughs> which sounds so terrible. It almost it did almost scare me a little bit. I didn't love it at first, but I was always fascinated by it. And I, I don't, I haven't worn it a lot. I carried it around a lot when I first got it. Since then, I haven't, mainly because I usually have it in a grid. I actually just put it in a grid the other day. I did a powerful stones grid. I'll link that for you. And this is one that I put in there. But I took it out for this video because I really, really, really am curious about um, holding these together and kind of diving into this energy and seeing what happens. So we're doing Moldavite and the Sintimani Stone. Ha! <sighs> Real time. I don't want to say I don't want to do it, but I had to put that down right then. Okay, this is gonna be something. All of my hair just stood up on end and I got this like chill in my body. I feel like I'm freezing cold. First I felt like I was going through a wormhole and now I kind of feel like I'm in a cave system. Which, Maybe that's why people find so much weird stuff in cave systems because there's wormholes in the cave systems. If you guys are into watching like weird stuff that just like messes with your mind, which I love, if you haven't watched Hellier, it's this series that is on Amazon Prime. I believe it's on YouTube also. It's something. It's one of the best things I've watched ever. And it talks a lot about cave systems. So check out Hellier. Let me know what you think. Side note. Also, if you have anything else like weird like that, like shows, series, movies, documentaries, I need to know. Okay, back to business. Okay, let's try these out again. I'm getting a lot of like flashes of pictures in my head, but they're like so fast. I just saw Santa Claus. Weird. I feel this weird wave of energy going like this around in my face. It's definitely a creepy, eerie vibe. I want to keep going like this, like, oh, oh, oh which is the feeling I get when I have a lot of spirits around me too. But I keep stopping myself from doing that because I'm just trying to like feel it and not shake it off, but that's just what I keep wanting to do. I feel like this would be both really creepy, but also one of the coolest things ever to sit outside at night in the dark with. I'm not saying I'm gonna do that but I'm saying it would be an experience you would never forget if you did. I feel like I need a palate cleanser. Like I need to hold something that's not anything. I really wanna hold a piece of smoky quartz. Oh yeah, that's what I needed. Oh. 
feel like I could take a nap right now. Thank you.